days past ovulation today. Um, I say approximately because uh, the Fertility Friend app is telling me I'm six days and you know the fact that of what I know I ovulated on the first um, and today is the seventh so six days past ovulation. The Glow app for some reason has changed my ovulation date till the second which will put me five days past ovulation but so I'm gonna just stick with six but um yeah approximately six it might be like five and a half days past ovulation I don't know anyway it is 11 a.m on Friday the 7th of December um Mike and Max are about an hour and a half away they picked up Max's granddad from the airport so they are on their way back home now um I'm stressed out like you would not believe I ended up having um, half a glass of wine at my mum's house last night it was just me and Ava um, and I felt a little bit bad about it but then at the same time I was like honestly if it's going to help me relax a little bit then I'm not going to think too much of it uh, because when I stress out I stress out like I have anxiety and I know that you know, it wouldn't be good for a potential baby, I guess, um, to have such high levels of stress and anxiety. So I thought, look, if half a glass, like that much, um, wine is going to chill me out a little bit, make me feel like I am de-stressing a bit, then that's going to be, you know, better than just ending up stressing out and digging myself in a big stress hole. So I've done a bunch of cleaning, um, like crazy cleaning. I've been scrubbing the shower, scrubbing floors. Um, I still have to vacuum the whole house and put all this lovely washing away uh, to, that isn't white. It's got a pillowcase missing from it because um, that's just in the wash. Uh, I've got one more load of washing to do, which I'll put on shortly. Um, I just got myself dressed. So, because I was, you know, cleaning in my jammies. Um, so now I've got dressed, I can put another load of washing on. It's a beautiful day outside and it's going to get really hot. Um, so I will hang out that load of washing once it's done. And then I'll vacuum. And I think that I'll, oh, and I have to empty the dishwasher and restack it. <laughs> And I need to have breakfast because I haven't done that. Ava has had breakfast. Uh, she's had a bath, cleaned her. She is now dressed. She's all ready. I need to make their beds, uh, Max and Ava's, well, I need to make Ava's bed and kind of straighten up Max's bed because Ava was jumping on it earlier. Um, and yes, yeah, so I've got an hour and a half to get all the rest of my stuff done. I thought I wouldn't do this because I've got so much that I still need to get done, but then I thought, no, no, I will quickly do an update because I know for a fact I won't be able to do another update for a couple of days. Um, you know, hopefully Mike will take the kids and his dad out somewhere at some stage, maybe this weekend, uh, depend, depending on how his dad is feeling. Um, and if they do that, then I can, you know, maybe have a chance to do a quick update. But it's going to be a busy few days. I know that Mike's brother is going to come around today after he finishes work uh, to see his dad and I think some of my family are coming over tomorrow I don't know what uh, my father-in-law's sleep schedule is going to be like so I don't know if he'll be sleeping half the day or you know just pretty much being in his bedroom for the next couple of days um, the weather is supposed to be amazing for the next few days so I don't know if because it's the weekend he might want to get out and about go down to the lake uh, you know, he, he's obviously been here before. He stayed with us for three weeks. Sorry about that. He stayed with us for three weeks back in March last year when uh, Mike and I got married. And so, you know, he's he, and he had been here before that. He'd come on holiday before that. Um, so he obviously knows the place. But he might want to get out, spend some time with the kids. Yeah, so I'm not too sure. Anyway, how I'm feeling, I am feeling good. I'm not feeling anything. Uh, 
this time last month, I know that I was like, oh, I might be feeling things. I don't know, I could be pregnant. But no, I'm, I'm thinking about things, you know, before, as I'm feeling them, I stop myself before I'm like, oh my God, it might be a sign. I stop myself and I'm like, yeah, but am I dizzy because I stood up too fast? Am I feeling a little bit nauseous because I haven't eaten yet? Which is the case this morning. It is 11 o'clock and I have not eaten yet. And I was feeling a little bit nauseous before. But also, I was dealing with a shower cleaner and I was like bending down and then getting back up and I was feeling a little bit dizzy and a little bit nauseous. But that's all, like those are the factors of that. It has nothing to do with possibly being pregnant. Um... Yeah, I got a haircut the other day, so I'm feeling a lot more better just in myself. Uh, it's more me. It's very short, but it is layered a whole lot, which is sort of how I like my hair. And I've got a little bit of a side fringe, which I prefer my hair like that rather than not having any fringe at all because I don't like the shape of my face. And it sort of just, you know, cuts it out a little bit, makes it look a bit better. So... Yeah, feeling a bit better. The red is looking way better now because the ends which were hard out faded have now been chopped off. Um, yeah, I did my makeup this morning for a change. I don't often do makeup, so I might look a little bit different. <laughs> and yeah. So that is that is my Friday. Last night was a little bit stressful. Um, Ava. Well, we stayed up till a bit later. Uh, I think she went to bed about seven o'clock. Um, but I don't know. I don't know what it is. My anxiety sort of, you know, comes to show when I am home alone with the kids. I don't mind being home alone. I quite enjoy being home alone. But being home alone with the kids uh, at night time, when I'm laying in bed, I've turned off all the lights, and all of a sudden I'm just like, oh my god, what if there's a fire and I don't wake up? Or what if the kids start crying and I don't wake up? I'm the lightest sleeper. I fully would hear them if I woke up, if they woke up. But, you know, this kind of stuff just goes through my head and... Yeah. And little Miss Ava wants to say hi. <laughs> oh, have you got the old phone and you've been watching things? She needs a hair brush. We need to brush her hair. And then we need to brush her teeth. Yeah. And then she'll be all ready for when Granddad counts. Yeah. And you're going to see Daddy and Maxie again. Ava? Mum? Yeah, Ava and Mum will see Daddy and Maxie and Granddad. No, I like it. You don't like it? Oh, you silly Billy. Um, uh, uh, uh. You want to sing your song? Uh, 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 sing. Uh. Okay, that wasn't that, but that is a new song. What a beautiful song. Okay, well, we better get going, get cleaning some more, eh, Bubba? No, no. Yeah, we could do some more no. cleaning. You gonna help uh, Mum clean? No. No, you're not gonna pick up all your toys? No, playing. You wanna do more playing? Yeah. Okay, it's almost lunchtime too. Pretend to talk on the phone. Um, yeah, so I will leave it at that. I will probably be able, hopefully I'll be able to, oh, hopefully I'll be able to do an update, um, at some stage during the weekend, but if not, then, I don't know, maybe on Monday, but then again, uh, my father-in-law doesn't have a car, he has to buy a car, I don't know when he's going to do that, um, he needs to find a job, I don't know when he's going to do that, he, I know that he wants to just chill out a little bit, um, you know, I think maybe until until the new year, after Christmas and New Year's and everything has passed. So I'm not too sure what the plan for him is. But like I said in the last video that I think I posted, I think I did it. <laughs> right -o. Um, I think I posted the last video. If not, I'll, I'll double I'll double check before I post this one in case I need to post two. Um, but I did say in the other one that I might need to get a little bit more imaginative with where I film these little vlogs because my bedroom might not cut it with his bedroom right there. 
Bye. And he might be able to hear me, and I don't know Bye. when he'll be leaving the house, so... Oh, so what's happening? Oh, no. Don't read my emails, Junie. Um, so yeah, I might need to be doing more videos in the car when I do my groceries on Monday night. So, if... Yeah, I will do it for you, baby. Yeah, so if I have not... So if I have not um, done an update, if I'm not able to do an update over the weekend, <laughs> thanks for messing up my bed, baby. Um, if I'm not able to do an update over the weekend, I will probably do an update on Monday night when I do my groceries. That is if he doesn't decide that he wants to come with me to do his own groceries. Um, so, but yeah, I'm pretty sure on the way to kindy, on the way back from kindy on Monday morning, again, if he decides doesn't decide that he wants to come with me um but I know that I'll be able to do one sometime or another on Monday even if I just go for a drive do one in my car go for a walk do one at the park or something like that I don't know but we'll figure out new ways to do these updates um and hopefully fingers crossed I'm not too stressed out about everything that's going on before my head just like explodes I need to just chill just take everything one day at a time um, and just keep reminding myself that this is a good thing that he is coming to live with us as stressed out as I am and as nervous as I am about this because I don't do living with other people very well especially when you know we've got our own family now and it's only been the four of us ever since there has been four of us you know you know we, we don't do flatmates or anything like that that's kind of what you do pre-kids you don't really start living with people after kids. well you might but that's not what we do well it's not what we've done until now because basically we've got a flatmate um yeah so i'll just take everything one day at a time just got to get into the new groove of things how things are going to pan out how things are going to be i know for a fact that we are going to for a change be able to have a babysitter um and i have said to mike that we really do need to, you know, start doing things, even if it's like once a month, going on a date night, going out for dinner, going to the movies, something like that. We really need to do it because it's not, we don't do it now because we don't have anyone that looks after our kids. Like we're always just home. Like Mike will go out by himself or, you know, once in a blue moon, I might go somewhere by myself, usually to the supermarket. <laughs> but um, it's not very often, but we're never, we're never really able to go anywhere together without the kids because no one looks after our kids for us. Um, and you know, I did say to him, you know, we do need to be doing like a date night, even if it's once a month, if it's more than that, then awesome. But it needs to be like at least once a month where we just spend some time together. Um, so we don't, we don't go out and do things often now, but we also have a lot of time to ourselves because once the kids go to bed and they go to bed around 6 30 every night um it is just us even if he's doing something one night like on the computer or if i'm stuck watching you know got stuck into watching something on netflix there might just be one night that we're not actually spending time together but every evening we are home and we're not doing something else at home we are spending time together and it's just us two Whereas when his dad's going to be here, it's going to be a bit different because it'll be us two and his dad, you know, like we'll be watching a movie in the lounge on the TV, but it will it will be three of us, you know, so it won't, we won't have as much time with just the two of us as we usually do. And, you know, I, I was a little bit worried and I, I brought up these concerns with Mike the other night when I had a bit of a cry because I was like, this is the last time this is how our life is going to be. Like, our life is about to change. I remember talking about this, you know, the night before we had Max because I was induced with Max. Um, you know, like I was just like, this is literally going to be the last night that this is our life. And tomorrow there's going to be someone else. And basically that's that's what it's been like. Um, you know, and so we had that, had a big chat about it and I said, you know, like, I'm worried that we're not even going to have a chance to just, you know, communicate with each other because 
his dad's always just going to be around the house. And, you know, I don't want to have deep discussions with my husband when his dad is in the room right next to us and he might hear us. You know, like, I'll just feel uncomfortable about that. Um, and, you know, like, Mike just keeps saying to me, look, I'm always going to be here. I'm always going to be your husband. We just are going to have to, you know, make sure we keep that communication door open. Um, and even if that means having to go somewhere to do it, at least we have someone that can stay home and watch the kids. You know, even if he said, you know, even if one night a week even, we just want to go for a drive for half an hour, just so we can get out of the house together, um, not stress about the kids because the kids are asleep and his dad's just sitting on the couch or lying in bed or whatever. You know, we, we have that chance to be able to just go out and even if that's when we vent and have, you know, a a DMC, you know, like a deep meaningful conversation. If that's when that happens, then we'll just make it happen. We have the freedom to go out and do more things with his dad being here because his dad can stay here and look after the kids. Even if we take the kids, we're still, and his dad comes, we're still going to have an extra pair of hands, which would make life easy because sometimes it is difficult uh, going somewhere with even if it's just two of us and two kids, it's like we've got a kid each, but it still can be difficult because they fight and having an extra adult can like stand in the middle and separate them, stuff like that. But anyway, I'm starting to ramble and I really need to get back to cleaning. So I might leave her here. She seems happy. Um, and I will do the rest of the stuff that I needed to do. All right. Thank you.